FNAF Secret of the Mimic just got a bunch of gameplay leaks, including tons of details about the plot, actual screenshots, and video of the real game, along with a ton of character reveals, all of which you don't want to miss. So rewinding a couple days ago at the end of August, PAX West 2024 had officially started. This event was theorized to be a pretty big deal for FNAF because the booth held for Steel Wolf Studios and Five Nights at Freddy's was going to be much larger than basically any other booth in the hall. And when this event would start, at first things seemed completely normal. The booth contained a little FNAF pizzeria setting along with a bunch of other quirks like neon lights of some of the characters, places to build paper pals which have been something, and most notably a bunch of animatronic figures and suits like this puppet one coming out of the music box, along with this big Freddy statue, some Freddy and Roxy suits, even a real moving caution bot was there which all looks super cool. But as this event was being launched, there started to be some rumors about Steel Wolf Studios' next game, Secret of the Mimic that was just announced a couple weeks prior along with a suspicious VR PlayStation page that also just launched, which were followed by reports saying a full-blown VR demo of Secret of the Mimic was going to appear at this PAX event. And sure enough, as people started to arrive, it was in fact confirmed Steel Wolf's upcoming game was appearing for users to play in a demo, but they also weren't sharing any gameplay with anybody. Nobody was allowed to. Even Dalko was told he couldn't show off his gameplay on his own channel like they've usually done, so they are being extremely secretive about this title as people have been playing the demo but thanks to a bunch of leaks and user reports here's everything we know about the game while waiting in line for the booth looking above a brand new character can be seen overhanging the queue which you might recognize from the teaser trailer we got last month who is named jackie and as you go into the vr room a bunch of new posters have also been spotted one of this horrifying b saying be yourself something very reminiscent of like cat b from poppy playtime a welcome poster showing some kind of frogs a hip whatever this thing is meant to be here along with a bunch of others but after this this brings us into the actual demo which while we have no like official gameplay from hundreds of people have played the game now and have had a lot of things to say about it for instance we have the youtuber coda statement who completely summarized the demo for us first saying there were two levels in said demo manager's office and the chase the gameplay is akin to actual free roaming vr games slash hello neighbor vr there's options for moving around with the joystick or teleporting in tow which is pretty standard to most vr games nowadays game is set in a toy factory honestly didn't have much visual connection to fnaf outside of those fredbear family diner posters from the security breach extras being dawned on the walls and what appeared to be a schematic for a mascot version of mr hippo so interestingly as we'll see later in the video the art style appears to be a little different than what we were expecting demo is very short got done with both levels in about five minutes tops in the manager's office the first level you explore the manager's office of that factory i guess a wall is broken in there which takes you into a small room in the factory where you wind up the music box from the trailer and get introduced to the jack-in-the-box character or jackie who is believed to be the mimic in disguise but honestly we're not sure but of course that confirms to us they are making an appearance from there you take the crank to open a door in the manager's office which takes you down a hallway leading to a mail room featuring an npc reminiscent of the staff bots who's sorting the mail you find a generator that is not active which connects to a door you keep pumping one of those pole cords like from a lawnmower to activate the generator but as you do this jackie comes through the door you did and tears shit up in the office which they say has really good animation door opens you go in and try to hide in a vent but it falls through and that's where the manager office level ends which actually sounds super interesting for a demo especially since it's going to be in vr but they also describe the second game mode the chase saying the chase picks up i guess from this and you're in a deeper part of the facility jackie is trailing you for a little while until you get to this elevator in which you activate it and then start the chase chase is pretty substandard poppy playtime-esque chasing honestly you keep seeing jackie's hand slam the walls to the left and right of you which sounds extremely reminiscent to the famous huggy wuggy chase scene in poppy playtime where huggy is cramming himself through the vents to chase you and they mention the scene has a poppy playtime feel as well especially since they later say you're crouching through vents and pulling levers here and there to get through where you then escape from Jackie through another hole in the floor and you climb through a vent while you hear the puppet box remix from the trailer with the demo ending with Jackie finding you in the vent grabbing you and then it falls through again there's also been other good recounts of the two levels like one here from another user we which basically just says the same thing if you wanted some other tiny details but so overall from this it sounds like the two levels from the demo are actually just two separate parts of a full game and this title will sort of be a poppy playtime-esque game taking place in a toy factory featuring 
having chase scenes and being more open which isn't a bad thing I've seen a lot of people complaining about these comparisons I guess because the compared title is much more controversial but it seems at least from the description the game setting is definitely inspired by poppy especially after seeing the posters from before that also draw a similar comparison but from what I've been hearing other than those small things it is still a completely different game so I guess we'll have to wait and see gameplay wise for ourselves and speaking of which while very little actual gameplay or anything has leaked from the title yet we do have two sets of leaked footage and screenshots one of this one showing the in-game CCTV teaser shown in the queue and another one revealing some actual gameplay in the VR and looking at the gameplay screenshot first it looks like some kind of tutorial I honestly can't tell much about it outside of being able to see the logo on the top here but that's really all however more interestingly going to the CCTV photos we get a much clearer view of the area we will be exploring here and as mentioned by Coda the art style definitely looks a lot different here in honestly a really good way it looks a bit more realistic and like more time was spent on the designs at least from the super blurry leaks which are honestly still hard to really make much out of although the most interesting things we see here are in these two screens that show some kind of a carnival aesthetic with a carousel and signage matching what you'd see at a carnival which is interesting because it's been heavily teased that the next FNAF game is going to be based on Fall Fest and the best theory I saw is here from Entom who believed because the game takes place in a toy factory and has all this carnival imagery this was likely the place where the props for Fall Fest were being made hence why we see so many references to it in the one clean screenshot we have kind of like sister location which was also a prop storage area furthermore there have also been a lot of other miscellaneous fan accounts on what happened inside of the game like Entom for instance said friends have reported multiple different clown outfits inside of the game suggesting there could be multiple Jackie like characters or Dalko said there were new characters in posters in the game which he didn't remember possibly referencing the ones we already saw or some new ones and also backed up that the factory was filled with circus items even confirming the ruined costumes like the elephant were also inside of it which is extremely interesting and in my opinion I think this is definitely the carnival game that was teased all the way back in ruin but now with all this being said when can we actually get to see the game ourselves and learn more about it well possibly very soon a uh, secret of the mimic was also just officially announced to be featured at the fantastic games 2024 presentation from September 20th to September 22nd where more than likely we will get a better look into the gameplay in terms of what we've been hearing from the demo and also likely some new things that have never been showcased before so in literally like three weeks from now we can expect to see some official gameplay but until then make sure you're subscribed to not miss any updates and while you wait check out this video here to see any news you might have missed